Hey guys, today we are starting an another Let's Play, Donkey Kong Country 2. As you may know, I just finished one, so yeah, Diddy's Conquest will finally get the spotlight on Diddy, even though Donkey did not much in the other games, so let's start a new file. And one thing I want to say, if you press down five times, you get music tests, just to let you know, that's something cool. Because this game has awesome music, it really does. Hey, Gangplank Galleon, that sounds familiar. Yeah, because this was the final boss of the last game, and you can even see DKC Island in the background. So let's start Pirate Panic, and this will be a 102% walkthrough, which is basically 100%, but Nintendo is fancy like that. So I'll be getting all the creme coins found in bonuses and all the DK coins and play all the levels. And here it explains the game. K. Rool is now a captain, because this is pirate themed and all. And he kidnapped Donkey Kong. So we have to rescue him with the aid of our good friend or girlfriend, Dixie Kong. Yeah. So in this game you can cartwheel jump like normal. You can team up, which is new, and you can throw Dixie. And throw her to get high up there. And you can also switch like normal. And she can flop, sort of hover with her, uh, her hair, a hair helicopter twirl. And yeah. So, yeah. That's basically what's new. And also, about Dixie... Yeah, she holds barrels differently. She holds them with her hair. So she has an overhand throw, while Diddy doesn't. And down here is our first bonus, and the end. Yeah, so you'll see that the background is like a treasure, finding treasure and stuff. And it has different music too. This one's ridiculously easy, and there's banana coins down here. And then I'll just demonstrate team up throw. Get up there. And here's a crumb coin. It's like a crocodile with a pirate hat on a coin. So basic. And here's Rambi, one of the four animal buddies in this game. There's Randy, Rambi, Squitter, Squawks, which plays a bigger role in this game. And then Ratley, which I talked about in my first Let's, Let's Play. I will talk about him again. So yeah, let's destroy them all, which is what Rambi does best, so... Yep. Kill all those Kremlings. The Kremlings look similar, except, like, the critters, the ones that just walk around, they now have a peg leg, if you look closely. And here's our first DK coin, or hero coin, up there. That's what they look like. Did you notice he has a peg leg? Yeah, so there we go, Kong. And those are clobbers. They're enemies who hide in barrels and try to attack you. And this is new, it's an end of the level target, which you can get goodies on. If you jump over that little, uh, that dot on top of that pole, if you jump over that, then you have enough strength to, uh, hit the barrel up and get an item that's there. So, main breast, ma main brace mayhem. Over here, if you cartwheel jump correctly, you can get to this bonus. And those are some ropes, which look piratey. Sort of like a ship ropes. And we are on a ship, so that's good that it looks like that. Here's a different kind of bonus where you have to find the token. Pretty easy. There's a few different bonuses. There's find the token, collect the stars, destroy them all, and I think there's a different one. But anyway, these are click clacks. You have to jump on them twice or roll into them once. Or hit them with something. So easy. Those guys... I want to call them climbers. They climb. And up here, anything I need? No? So yeah. I would say Kong-wise, the better Kong is Diddy, because he's faster. And I love his cartwheel jumps way more than Dixie's sort of hair jump twirl things. But Dixie's all also vital with her uh, spins and all. So, you need her. 
literally, there's some parts that you have to have her in this game. So she's useful, but I still say Diddy's my favorite and the better Kong. And here's a new how to get a bonus, not really a bonus game new, where you take a cannonball into a cannon and then it, it takes you to a bonus. One thing about this game is the bonus games, um, they're in bonus barrels instead of just in explosion barrels. And this is a destroy them all where you just hit them with a the cannonball. It's easy with Dixie because she just holds it above her head so you don't have to like throw it up there. Also, I think these levels are longer than in uh, the original DKC. Here's a bonus barrel, so let's get that with the team up throw. Yeah, these levels are, I think, pretty much longer than uh, the ones in DKC1, so yeah. And here's a collect the stars, where you have to collect a certain number of stars. And some of them, you don't even have to collect them all. But it's only like in two levels of the whole game. A uh, roller coaster level, and then in one with on guard. Which is another animal buddy that I forgot to mention. On guard is back too. Here are Blanabas for days and a DK coin. Let's get a life. I have 13 lives and I'm on the second level. Which is pretty good, I guess, if you're keeping track. Now let's start Gangplank Galley, another pirate ship themed one, and up above that bonus is a warp barrel, which I'll explain a little later on, after this bonus. Okay, this one's easy, just take the chest and what, and throw them at the B to see which ones it, it's in, and I know which one it's in, it's in the second to last one, so I don't know why I didn't grab that one. In this one. Yay. So yeah, bonuses. There's not a certain number in each level. Like in Donkey Kong Country 3, there's about there's one to three in each level. I think one has four. I'm not sure. I think so though. So yeah. Those are I don't remember their names. I know they're a version of the critters that jump, though. We'll see them very often. And those guys are the critters I talked about. And one thing cool about this game, when you roll into a... Well, let me talk about these chests first. Chests, you hit them, an enemy with them, and you can get some sort of item, like a letter or bananas. I think, like... No, never mind. And banana coins, which you can use to save your game from and buy advice and stuff. You buy advice and you can save your game with two coins, which is sometimes a pain. But I'll explain that when we get to that. Here's an invincibility barrel. Makes you invincible. Let's get the G. Yeah, you're invincible. Or short, not short, but it's not unlimited. And you use it to get that bonus. So, great. And there's been a lot of uh, find the tokens. Anyway, if you look in the background, there's a green sea and then like purple. There's purple in the sky and like orange clouds, which is pretty cool. Not something you see every day or any day. Um, wait, okay. Also, if you jump on, while you you have both Kongs. Oh, never mind. If you throw one up, then it'll count as you jumped high enough, and you get uh you get the prize. Now here's Kong College. This is Wrinkly Kong Cranky's wife, and she's a school teacher. She can save your game and give you a bunch of advice. And after you save it the first time in an area, it becomes two coins each, which can be a pain. Don't be a stranger, she says. Well, you shouldn't either. Okay, Lockjaw's Locker. Pretty cool level. Cool music. There's a lot of hidden things. Like you would never even expect. A lot of shortcuts and stuff. And this level, we have water. Not like a water world, like in a... Or a water level, like in DKC1, but half water. 
half normal stuff so you can go in the water and then go up here and there's a banana coin up there but I don't want it and there's enemies called floatsums which are really weird looking right there they'll try to hurt you but they just go in a pattern those are lock jaws I believe and they will try to actually kill you they don't go in a pattern they just go right after you and here's on guard and you can kill I think yeah, all enemies with one guard underwater, except one. A version of Lockjaw called Snapjaw, which we'll see later. Here's our first bonus you get by charging into that wall with unguard, and it's a short maze. I recommend not following the bananas, because this is like the only times when the bananas are wrong. So, screw the bananas, even though that's not Donkey Kong logic at all. But bonuses don't require logic. Now do that. Yeah. So, a green float. Floatsums have different color. Okay, on guard, come on, come on. Thank you. You'll see that the water randomly rises. You'll have to use that later in the level to your advantage or your disadvantage. Like right there. And there's a lot of secrets and shortcuts. I mean a lot, that you could po not possibly memorize all of them. But there are a couple where you can just get random banana coins, and that is a Shuri. It's supposed to be like, um, like a Shuriken. It's mocking the Shuriken, and here's one of those shortcuts I said. On guard's not the shortcut, but there's a shortcut in a shortcut, which is sort of weird. I love how there's these treasure chests filled with bananas. What's up with that? And they're underwater. Okay. What? I missed the O in the end? That's weird. Yeah, okay, I think I just missed a bonus. Ah, who cares? Oh no, I'm too late. No, that's where we get the hero coin. So I'm gonna hop off on guard for a second. Whoa, that's messed up. Oh, that's cool. It's like all glitched now. So anyway, on guard's dead. What you want to do, since on guard's dead, is switch to Dixie, and then fly over here to get the hero coin, which you're supposed to do on guard by charging. But we killed on guard. Now, didn't we? So yeah, 19 lives. Not too shabby at all. sort of funny how balloons give you lives, I don't get that, but anyway, Swanky, it'll give you bonus games, like a guessing game, and you get lives and stuff. And here's Ratley, which I talked about in DKC1, I'm gonna talk about him again real quick. I like him way more than Winky, I mean way more, cause Winky, he, you have to wait a second before he can jump, because, like, his legs have to be in the right position. But Ratley, he can jump in the air. Like that, isn't that? And that can be very helpful later on. It also makes him jump higher. Because he's already off the ground and then he jumps. And up there's a bonus. And Ratley's just really cool looking as a snake. He has those huge eyes. Just really funny. It just makes you think he's such a kind snake. Other than those slippers. Yeah, so let's continue on. Kill a bunch of enemies. Look how slow Ratley goes when you hit him. Like on guard, he, he just runs for his life to get away from you. Here's a super jump. Something Ratley can do to jump really high. He can jump on all on uh, every enemy to kill them, including bees, zingers. And zingers are back in this game too. They are ugly looking guys. I feel more comfortable with Diddy. Oh, it started raining. That's cool. It's over here. Um, nothing. Okay. How high are we, honestly? Because, like, the clouds are, like, below us. I mean, that's that must be one big ship if the clouds are below us. And the, you'll see this often, invisible hooks that let you get to bonuses and other things. So watch out for those. 
Yeah, so here you want to avoid those dragonflies called flitters and just climb up to the top of the level, the uh, bonus game, and get your creme coin. Your well-deserved creme coin. If you notice, like, in some of those bonuses, they have a flag, and up there too, a flag with the Kremlin face on it. Sort of cool. See right there. So that's neat. And over here is the hero coin, which is good. Here you just avoid zingers. Zingers, they're, uh, they look smaller, but, and there's, their stinger is smaller. Not that that's important, I just felt like pointing that out. And here's three lives. Even though we don't really need lives. Now I'm going to try to show you this. Throw onto the pad. Fail. I was just like an inch away from the pad. Okay, that's fine. Funky, he has a two there. Funky fights two because the second game. He does the same thing, except now you have to pay for the rock, the barrels. To take you places. This is the first boss, um, Crow, I don't remember, Creepy Crow, I think it's just Crow. Yeah, he'll throw eggs at you, and you just have to jump on them to settle them down, and then hit them. One thing, I think in almost every boss fight, there is banana coins hidden somewhere, so you could take advantage of those. Well, Crow just looks weird. He sort of looks Asian because of his eyes. Not that Asians aren't cool. Asians are awesome. Okay, stop hitting my eggs, man. Whoa, what, what are you doing? Is he wearing a belt? Did anyone notice he's wearing a belt? What's up with that? I don't know. Oh, well, Crow is dead. Man, Crow gives me dreams of gives me nightmares of cult vultures again. Vulture culture. Oh, that was a pain. Okay, next time we will start World 2 with Hothead Hop. Well, this has been Jerry 4 of DKC2, 102%. See you next time.